B-17 Flying Fortress, Serial Number 425867, nicknamed Alice from Dallas. Delivered to Long Beach on April 2nd, 1943 and assigned to 315 Bomb Squadron, 100th Bomb Group at Sob Abbott on May 30th, 1943. Alice from Dallas was badly damaged by flak on Schweinfurt's Regensburg mission on August 17th, 1943 with the Regensburg Task Force. The flak set the left wing on fire and the right wing was badly damaged. Based on missing air crew report 678, Alice from Dallas was last seen at approximately at 10.30 hours, 10 minutes from Regensburg. Losing altitude and rears dropped down. Six troops observed by the tail gunner of another B-17, but did not see the B-17 crash or land. Alice from Dallas was piloted by First Lieutenant Roy F. Clator that eventful day. He evaded capture beside four other crew members. Three members of his crew became prisoner of war. The ball turret gunner Sergeant William M. Hinton and right waist gunner Staff Sergeant Edmund A. Musante were killed. When the pilot Lieutenant Clator was questioned about Musante, he stated the following. He was a strange boy was frequently given to air sickness. I think he was actually afraid of the air. However, I mentioned having him removed from the crew several times, but he always persuaded me to keep him. He seemed to be brave and courageous, except I believe he had an inherent fear of the air. I admired him very much, never seen him fail in anything. But I do believe he refused to bail out. The left waist gunner Charles Bailey made the following statement about Edmund A. Musante. He was the right waist gunner, and I was the left waist gunner. I always took a personal interest in him, because I was older than he, and he seemed to depend on me to a great extent. He always had trouble hearing over the intercom, and I always made it a point to be sure that he always understood the commands given over the intercom. So when the pilot gave the command to bail out, I checked with Musante and he started making preparations to bail out. We both went to the escape hatch, and I pulled the emergency release, and Musante stepped up to jump, but for some reason he changed his mind, and motioned for me to jump first, and because two engines were on fire, the plane seemed to be going down fast, I couldn't see any reason to waste more time, so I jumped. After my chute opened, I tried to keep my eye on the plane to see how many chutes opened, but all I could ever see was eight chutes. The underground organization that helped me told me that one of the crew members was killed when the plane went down because his chute hung on the plane. From their description, I knew it was Mosante. Charles Bailey also gave the following about William M. Hinton to the report. The only thing I know about him is that I saw him coming out of the ball turret and I presumed he was doing okay, but evidently he didn't because I never heard from him again. That was his first mission on our crew, and I never had an opportunity to know much about him. Finally, Alice from Dallas crashed near Langelou, five miles east of Hasselt, Belgium. <laughs> 